Well, today... There's this... Um... There's, there's this um, songwriter who well happened to wrote this song which looks familiar the guy's name is Rit Mommy and he's the one who wrote who apparently wrote Put Your Records On. Many people, including myself, were seeing his name this morning, and Billboard uh, did a story about Ritmont Rummy, and He doesn't care if it, if putting her records on is his only pop hit because, well, to my knowledge and to everyone else's knowledge, he's a white boy from Utah who calls himself Mommy, which I think he, I think that's his real name, and he's getting successful off of a cover of a black woman song. that he probably and actually stole. And he spoke to Billboard which says it reminded me of writing in the back of my mom's minivan in a much simpler time. It has always been the epitome of a joyful, hopeful song for me. It... Oh. Well. Alright, so his real name is Jack Rutter. So that's something. I don't know why he would choose Rit Mahami though. Despite being the unbanful 21st birthday, there has still been plenty to celebrate for Rit Mahami over the past several months. With indie rock had released a cover of Corny Bailey Ray's 2006 hit single Put Your Records On in a late April, which has since gone viral, fueled by a makeup challenge on TikTok, more than 4.1.4 million videos on the platform using the song as backing music have been created to date. It has led to Red Mommy's first hot 100 entry. The song hit at number one. 79 high on the chart dated October 31st and breathed new life into his 2019 album Her and All of My Friends. Though it's now your solo project, Rick Mommy used to be a larger recording band. Would you ever want to return to that? I've thought about that a lot and there are definitely pluses, but I'm not great at guitar or drums, but with most of the songs being super personal to me, it always has been really important to me that it sounds like me. I think a full band might be something to save for when I know what I want to do more because it's just a ton of experimentation right now. I'm still just a kid messing around in logic in a lot of ways. What is it about Pussy Records on that make you want to cover it? You know the songs that you just have memorized your whole life? It was totally one of those songs for me. I love it. 
of that song around when it came out. She played it all the time and reminded me of riding in the back of my mom's minivan and a much simpler time. It has always been the epitome of a joy for a hopeful song for me. It's also just such a good song, obviously. I went through a pretty intense, pretentious indie kid phase when, where I had super zero appreciation for pop music. But working on that song, I was like, this is a really well-written song, objectively. And that part of me wanted to remind people about it. I wasn't at all expecting anything that happened from it to happen. I was just seeing, I was seeing it as a fun side thing that I could put out in between albums. But thank God for TikTok. Other than that, Rit Rami has a tick as a Twitter account, which is easy to find. One angry fan wrote, I hate that his cover gets played in the radio and not the original version that was written by a black woman. And then he replied, let me make that thread really quick. I think it was stupid of me to cover a song by a black woman, especially one that has, that mentions aspects of black life that I obviously have no experience with. If I could go back and simply cover another song by someone else, I would. Well, genuinely, you did make a lot of people mad, so I understand why. Pants of corny Bailey Ray would be really mad. I ignorantly looked past lines, like gotta love that Afro hairdo, about considering the cultural significance they could have in a black community. I mean, recently went through the genius page for the song and got more context. I can absolutely understand why a lot of people were, a lot of people are angry about it and I am really sorry to have to appropriate like that. I always loved the song and seeing it as a happy summertime anthem. But I only recently started to understand how much more it meets to some. Some fans do have a right to be mad, and some of them don't. Mainly a black woman who's a fan of this artist, Corny Bailey Ray. Like this woman here. Named Taylor Matt Can 15 has a right to be mad. She explains, I mean, black women especially have a right to be upset. It's not coming from a place that we don't have experience with. Our hair is a blessing and a curse. We all never will understand that, like, ever. Believe me when I say. Many don't care that it was a was by a black woman when we covered I will always love you and the only part of whom I love wrote the and sang the song was more popular. <laughs> was it more popularized when Whitney did it? Yes. It's okay to make covers of songs, but people were spinning it and trying to say you wrote it. Like that's part of the like that's the part that people, including myself, I'm not gonna lie, didn't once let sit well. Like again, to reiterate, this young generation just needs to know where the song originated, and uh, she has a point. And again, a few more fans are angry, and they have the right to be, but like. I think he did nothing wrong. I mean, you can hate me for saying that, but I think Rit Rami did nothing wrong. I think he just wanted to 
wanted to do a cover. But he also didn't realize the song behind it and well that's okay. I uh, forgive him for that. As a as a long time listener of that song which I heard it way before his version came out like 10 years ago I would have given him a pass the next day today's the next day as of recording this and Tony Bailey Ray tweeted after this cover of Put Your Records is Put Your Records on is connecting with so many. Our new song is like setting a bird free. Where, where will it fly to? Looking forward to talking to Rit Mommy and loving how deeply people are, feel connected to the original. Thank you. And some fans agree. One person wrote this by saying, I hate that folks are running this man down. It was a cover. Folks cover songs all the time. And while nothing can replace the original, it's soothing to see how one song can expire beyond its years. Yeah, exactly. And that is the thing. If people don't know how to search how to search up the word cover, then they really are out of the loop of knowing how the song is. and it and you know this made uh, Rick Mommy responded he said oh my god thank you so much my queen you changed my life artist like Rick Romney is doing a song that someone else already wrote like years ago and people didn't really understand that stands that it was a cover song a cover version of the song and they might not realize that until until some people start creating a backlash. And when they create the backlash, then later on, a then later on you get a tweet like this from C C Corny Bailey Ray. And everything else is, res is resolved from there. So, in conclusion, I don't think Brit Mommy ever stole her song. The song that I heard since I, since I was in middle school and elementary school. Yeah, I don't think he's, he meant to steal the song at all. It was just a cover after all. I mean, come on. People gotta understand what a cover is. And he really didn't have to apologize for it. I mean, it's...
it needs just a cover song, you know. There really wasn't a reason to get so mad about but the fact that some people did like this person who wrote I hate this that his cover gets played on radio and not the original version that was written by a black woman and you know people like that don't appreciate when a new up and coming artist like Rit Mommy You happen to cover a song that he liked because he also is a fan of the original artist who created the song. It's kind of disappointing, really, when people would judge you for creating a song that you liked listening to when you were a kid. It's just... It's just crazy that we have to live in a time where people would just completely go after him. Oh, and another thing about that Romney name. Let's be clear on the fact that Rit Mommy is not related to Mitt Romney as he already has kids of his own. Rit Romney is a stage name. And as the girl says, he's from Utah, just like the sender. And so to speak, funny and ironic that people have things. Just a reminder, his real name is Jack Ruter. This guy tweets, take your cover down from all streaming sites now. No, I don't think he will. In fact, I kind of like the song as a cover. So there's no need to create hate against this guy. Because again, as I said, he is not related to Mitt Romney. It, mommy already has sons of, of his own. I mean, people like this are just completely ignorant. When you tweet Something like this. You're canceled, Rit Mommy. It's over. A Rit Mommy sort bay is forever tainted. Then you're the one with the problem here. And this person tweeted, You have nothing to be sorry about. This was your own choice, and you should have freedom to do so. Don't listen to extremists for those stuff at nothing. So extremist sure is, is black women who had every right to be in their feelings about the cover of song. Then this person replied back. Unless big things are involved, then there's no reason for anyone to be upset. Oh well, um hello. It's bigoted to discriminate against again be, is because of our hair. And that happens a lot, especially in schooling facilities and workplaces. I don't believe he's discriminating here. I'd be on your side if I thought so. I didn't say he was discriminating at all. 
I said those in the workplace and at schools are always discriminating against many black women. And I said that I don't believe he meant to be my eyelashes. I'm not sure. I see why the cover is problematic. The song is literally about a black girls about black girls who are potentially red killed due to their hair because it's not typical European hair because they have greasy or horsey hair that is hard to manage. So as a result we wear protective hairstyles. Is he black woman with that hair? No, but why shouldn't why should that matter? It really doesn't. It really doesn't matter at all. Point is, it's just a cover. So just drop that. Instead of a cover, why not just make your own music? If I recall back in the day, many music up and coming music artists during my time, including Justin Bieber, created a cover song once. I can't remember what the, what the original cover song that he made at the time, but this is how music artists get their break, get their big break on the internet. You can't just tell somebody to, to create their first music when they haven't even started yet. That's why they did cover. That's why covers exist today in the first place. This girl, Kaylin, certainly needs to know that. I mean, just because I was a kid at the time, and I'm going to finish my thought here, but this person said, I get this, but like the OG came out when I was a kid. And they played it on the radio all the time. Yeah, and people still don't know it's by her now because of the cover blew up. So she still deserves her credit because black women get the shorthand of the stick all the time. And while it's an old song, she still deserves credit and playtime. When I was a kid, I don't, I didn't really care to know who wrote the song because I didn't know who the artists were. It just so happens that I had heard her name once back in 2009. I've heard her name once back in 2009. And for you to, like, go and say this, and if you're not appreciative enough, and, and by not being appreciative enough, you're not being a loyal fan as you were. I mean, I don't think Corny Bailey Ray deserves someone like you, because at least Corny B. Corny Bailey Ray has a knowledge of new and upcoming artist who liked her song and did her song as a cover. And then Miss Mirror tweeted this. My store only plays her version and honestly, I can't imagine someone else on a race like singing something that carries a spiritual message. A spiritual message for black girls slash women. The original will always be better. I don't care, I don't care. I mean, she 
had her time, and I still remember listening to her back then, but I could definitely understand how you read mix. We could come to right out. Can you see my log my logic on this? Yes. I agree. I mean, that song was pure during its time all the way back then. I mean, come on, for God's sake, it goes to 2006. We are in 2020. What do you mean, had her time? Baby, it's her song. It'll always be hers, and she'll always have her time. Your logic makes zero sense. No, I think your logic makes zero sense. Had her time as in this was new, popular, and fresh. Now it's a classic or a throwback, but the remix is new and fresh. People constantly crave that. You can respect and still love the classic and also like the remixes. That clear things up? Exactly, because, because again, the song was from 2006. This doesn't make sense because a lot of classical songs are still enjoyed and are remixed. Her time doesn't run out because she's always been get, been her song. The remix is garbage and the original should be getting more attention. I listened to the original probably a couple of weeks ago and probably wouldn't have listened to it without the remix bring its relevancy back. I'm sure the remix is bringing a lot of attention back to her and making her money. If you don't like that remix, that's your taste. Yeah, exactly. And then she replies with a childlike response, yawn, yawn, yawn. Then people come to the defense. You weird, go outside. But these two are still not having it. Like, I don't get people sometimes. If you're gonna be very angry at a person who corn. Honey, Corny Bailey Bay is acknowledging, and then thing you aren't really fans at all. And in this person replies with a smart response. Y'all didn't even try to make an argument, SMH. Okay. Yeah. I just don't understand people sometimes. If you really don't like the cover song, then don't listen to it. But back in the day, cover songs were lit. And they still are to this day. I'm pretty sure of it. Really, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Justin replied, my favorite part of this conversation is that I was having a conversation and the other count on that fight. I didn't fight, so they got upset and blocked me. GG. You used logic too. Literally no issue with what you said. GG's, you did good, bro. You weird for gas TM and I even read what he said. Watch me block you too. Oh, grow up, wanna wanna be it, girl. Grow the fuck up. If you're gonna block people for having for agreeing with the guy, then you obviously aren't a fan. Like, seriously, chill the fuck out. 
I see you can give out what bow head. I join his in people sometimes. If you're likely not gonna acknowledge another artist or really praise the person who made a cover song, then you really are in pants. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. You are not a fan, and you are not a fan. That's life. I just hope that these fans, when they understand that this is just a cover song, and the original artist has acknowledged a new and upcoming artist who did a cover of her song. And I hope that one day they'll all look back at just, you know, accept it, you know. I mean, come on, the original artist of the song here is, accept is accepting it. So you should do the same and just stop trying to attack it. Give him a chance. He'll do better. If you don't like that remix, that's your taste. Yeah, exactly. And then she replies with a childlike response, yawn, yawn, yawn. Man, people come to the defense. You weird, go outside. But these two are still not having it. Like, I don't get you sometimes. If you're gonna be very angry, and a person who corn honey corny Bailey Bay is acknowledging and then then you aren't really fans at all. And then this person replied with a smart response. Y'all didn't even try to Make an argument, SMH. Okay. Yeah. I just don't understand people sometimes. If you really don't like the cover song, then don't listen to it. But back in the day, cover songs were lit. And they still are to this day. I'm pretty sure of it. Really, I'm I'm pretty sure. Justin replied, my favorite part of this conversation is that I was having a conversation and the other count on that fight. I didn't fight, so they got upset and blocked me. GG. Use use logic too. Literally no issue with what you said. GG's you did good bro. You weird for guess to him, and I even read what he said. Watch me block you too. Oh, grow up, wanna wanna be it, girl. Grow the fuck up. If you're gonna block people for having for agreeing with the guy, then you obviously aren't a fan. Like seriously, chill the fuck out. 
I see you thinking about it. Look, forehead. I don't understand people sometimes. If you're likely not gonna acknowledge that another artist already praised the person who made a cover song, that you really are in fans. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. You are not a fan, and you are not a fan. That's life. I just hope that these fans will one day understand that this is just a cover song, and the original artist has acknowledged a new and upcoming artist who did a cover of her song, and I hope that one day they'll all look back at just, you know, accepted, you know. I mean, come on, the original artist of the song here is, accept is accepting it. So you should do the same and just stop trying to attack it. Give him a chance. He'll do better. Then after I block her, then she replied, What the fuck? I couldn't even clock her. Well, serves to you right, right for blocking people who apparently have a much higher IQ opinion, opinion than you. I mean, come on. And if you don't want to be blocked, if you wanted to see my what I tweeted at you in the first place, then do yourself a favor and don't block other people for having an opinion of their own. So here it is. If you're blocking people despite the fact that Connie Corny Bailey Ray has an the cover song of this artist. For having an opinion about it, then you're part of the problem. And now I'm going to unblock you because I think you deserve to see the tweet. But I do strongly suggest that you need to work on your mo mo your morals because your morals aren't exactly correct, one be it girl. Now I can give you my tweets, but just so you know, if you do block me if you see this video, then you're just proving my point even further. So, I suggest I highly suggest that you be smart about it and just understand where people are coming from. And don't say nothing so egregiously stupid that will, that will completely disown your narrative. And at, at the end of the day, for everyone else, Sending writ Lamy hate is completely irresponsible and unnecessary. And if you were actual fans, the least you can do is acknowledge that Connie Bailey Ray did mention the upcoming artist who did a song cover. Just do that. And don't be so close-minded. People who are close-minded just because a guy 
create a cover song that belonged to the original artist. And thinks that he is related and thinks that and also thinks that he's related to Mitt Romney, which he's not. Then all of you who are supposed fans of Corny Bailey Ray are part of the problem. Covers met the original artist nine cents of every dollar made from it. Plus, publishing this version gets used in the commercial. Corny makes the book of ad money, not the cover art. You don't have to like it, but CBR is getting paid for this. I doubt she mad. Anyway, I'm seeing a few responses that are more positive. about the up-and-coming artist to create a song cover about her song and uh yeah i'm gonna end it here thanks for watching and uh yeah that's it um end of story <laughs>